Hey guys, it's Harrison Brown here. Just wanted to make a quick update video on how everything's going, how I'm feeling after my first week, uh, my first two games as being the first transgender athlete to be on a professional sports team in the United States. I feel great, I feel just the same old brownie that I've always been. Um, sorry if you hear a bunch of movement. My ferrets are awake right now and uh, they're just hanging out. So if you hear a little bit of noise, that's what it is wanted to kind of touch base and see and let you know how I felt. For those of you that don't know, I came out as transgender, like I said. Uh, this was my first week of being known as Harrison Brown, the trans man playing in the NWHL. People were calling me my proper pronouns in the game, uh, talking to me after the media. So I had a media group of about 12, maybe 10, 10 or 12 reporters after the game with microphones in my face asking me all these questions, so it's not that new. I've had that before, playing hockey and stuff like that. People do ask you questions after the game and how you're feeling. If you have a good game, if you score some points, then they're gonna wanna talk to you. So I've had that before, but what has been new, What I've been approached by a few people to have interviews, like I mentioned in my first video, so those have, I've already done those, and I have a few more that I have lined up, and uh, there'll probably be some more things on during the season that I'll probably part participate in. Um, but for now, maybe I'll talk, I'll talk a little bit about how I've been feeling with the media and um, Twitter and some new followers and stuff like that. So uh, I haven't blown up, I haven't gotten a million new followers in three or four days. Uh, I've gotten quite a few new followers and uh, I'm getting a lot of messages from people um, which is actually really nice. So people have found me on Facebook messaging, which um, I don't recommend you do because or add me on Facebook because Facebook is kind of a personal thing for me. So if I don't know you personally, I'm not gonna add you. Uh, I might respond, but uh, it's more it's more personal for me. So I hope you understand. Um, and Instagram, I've been getting a few uh, inboxes, which is fine. Instagram's nice and public. So I don't mind you guys commenting, uh, liking my pictures. I love it. I think it's great. And uh, But Twitter would be the best way to reach me. I, I try to go through and I try to read as much as I can through that. Um, I can't catch everything, but if you tweet me, I'll be sure to, I'll try my best to see it and respond. Uh, but I've been getting a few messages. I've been getting some tweets saying that people have been coming out because of me, or not because of me, but I'm giving them courage to do so. And I can't believe that. I think that that is just incredible. The fact that I can have a little bit of help helping someone feel supported someone feel like they can do this because I've done it so I think that in itself is probably the most rewarding aspect of all this um, now I'm not saying I'm famous or anything like that at all I, I don't I don't have even a thousand followers on any of my social medias so um, I'm just saying that if I can help out in my own little way then that's great um, but for how I've been feeling myself personally I've um, been feeling amazing uh, all these articles have come out some that I've talked to personally and some that have just kind of piggybacked on others that have come out which which is awesome as well so people have been seeing that a lot of people have been contacting me old friends have been reaching out uh, giving their support which is um, incredible as well and uh, I've had some extended family that I don't have to come out to anymore because it's, it's, it's out there in, um, in the internet so that actually has been a nice uh, perk to it as well. I really don't have to come out anymore to anyone. So it's really nice to have that and to feel that I truly am my authentic self right now. I'm out to everyone, basically. So that's a huge relief. I've been out for a while. Uh, I started coming out uh, in my last video. I, I think I mentioned that I started coming out my second year university, started to cut my hair, started to want to be called uh, with ma want to be referred to with male pronouns. So it's just nice now that everybody is doing that and pub in private and public. So people that I don't even know are saying, hey Harrison, uh, how was the game? You played great. And um, just talking about me third person saying I'm really proud of him. He had a really nice goal. Things are coming together for him. So that is a relief. It's just, I the only thing that I can feel right now is relief. And I'm very happy with my decision to come out and I'm very happy with the support system that I've been having through my teammates, through the league, through You Can Play, all the all the support that I've been receiving from the media. Um, I'll talk a little bit about that too. So uh, I've had a few in-person interviews, I've had a few interviews over the phone. Uh, I haven't had any video interviews yet, so that's not something that I could talk to about how I would feel about that, but maybe 
this is kind of the closest thing that I have to a video interview. I'm talking to a camera. So, uh, but every reporter that I've talked with has been so respectful. Um, the questions that they've been asking are very relevant and I think that they, they're not offensive at all and they've made me feel very comfortable. Uh, I felt very comfortable through all of this. When I talk to these reporters, I feel like I'm talking to like friends. So, um, I don't feel intimidated or anything like that, so that's nice and reassuring. So uh, I don't mind doing more if I do more. So about the game. So I'll talk. I'll talk a little bit about the game now. So I played my first two games. It was the season home opener for the NWHL, which is the National Women's Hockey League, and I played. We all, all the teams came to Buffalo, so everyone was at Buffalo, the commissioner, um, all the PR, uh, all the teams were there. So my first game that I played, I scored a goal and that was, it's always fun scoring. I love scoring goals. I'm a forward, so that's what, that's what I'm paid to do. So uh, I scored a shorthanded goal, a little mini breakaway. I'll try to find a clip and I'll try to put it in. And the crowd went nuts. I played in a lot of games. I played in front of no people. I played in front of a lot of people and this was a decent sized crowd uh, but I've never heard a cheer that loud for a game that I've participated in. It just made me feel so warm. That was that was the only thing that I can describe it with. I just had this feeling come over me of just this warmth and uh, I just cheered so loud and myself and my teammates came and they um, huddled around me and congratulated me and as soon as I got on the bench everyone was giving me taps and, and that would happen if I scored any other goal but there was something really special about this and how the crowd kind of just embraced me it was just kind of like saying the way that they cheered was just saying like brownie like we're with you and we support you and um, we accept you. So that was amazing. And uh, I heard my name called uh, Harrison Brown, his first of the season. So just having those proper pronouns and having that name uh, was just unreal. And uh, <laughs> I don't even know. I'm just really excited to just keep playing and just keep hearing that name. And it's just gonna drive me to wanna score more um, and play and play well in front of everyone that's there. So overall, I couldn't be happier. It's been the first week, so not too much to kind of catch you up on, but overall, it's been amazing. My girlfriend was, um, she flew down for, um, she's from Chicago, she flew down for my home opener. She knew, she knows exactly what's going on. So she took my camera and she videotaped as much as she could. So I'll, I'll include that too. So hopefully she did a good job. She's never used a camera, my camera before. So I'm sure it'll be great. Uh, so I'll include that. <laughs>
but yeah, so I just wanted to thank everybody for all the support. Um, I've had a lot of people commenting on me. Uh, I haven't read the comments on the articles. I was told not to and I don't really have any desire to read them. And anything that has an inkling of a negative tweet or somebody that's sent me a strange message, I just read the first like couple letters and if I see something that's not positive, I'd stop reading it. I haven't indulged in any of that, but um, nine, I can honestly say that 97 98% of all the messages that I've gotten have been positive, which is crazy. Obviously, you never want to see and even the 2% or the 3% negative, you want to eliminate that. That's ultimately the goal through LGBT rights. We want everything equal and we want we want this not to be a conversation anymore to have. Like the, me coming out or a gay male athlete coming out, like, we want that to not be not be a story like this shouldn't generate that much attention i'm just being myself and that should be that's something that always should be celebrated no matter if it's um gender identity sexual orientation or even if you're even if you're straight you should it, it, just being yourself is not something that should be celebrated it just should be the norm and i hope that one day we can get to that but for the most part it's been great and i've been very fortunate to have um a good support system and i've been very fortunate not to have too much negativity in my life and that's including comments that i've been receiving so i'm sure there might be some out there that i haven't seen i haven't uh, as I said before, I haven't read any of the comments on any of the articles, so there could be negativity there and I could be living in a fantasy world, but for now I haven't received much bad comments at all, so, and even if I did, um, it doesn't matter. The person that's doing that, I feel sorry for them, and uh, you know that there's something very troubling going on with them if they find the need to go on to somebody and try to bring them down. They're, they're dealing with some sort of internal thing, so if anyone's going through that, uh, you should just let it roll off because that person does not matter at all. What matters is the support that you have and the, the support you're going to receive. So I'm looking forward to more support. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing more hockey, uh, hearing my name correct and going by proper pronouns. That's what I'm looking forward to this season and uh, if some media outlets come out, I'm going to do as much as I can to create awareness and um, to start some conversations. But first and foremost, I'm a hockey player. I'll keep doing some update videos and some fun things with my channel, see how, see how I can grow it. But for now, things are going great. Couldn't be happier for anybody that's messaged me so far saying they've that they've found the courage to come out. I couldn't be happier for that. And I couldn't be happy for the people that haven't found the courage yet, but are building up the strength to be their authentic self. So hope to hear more stories of more transgender athletes coming out. I'm the first but I don't want to be the last so uh, I hope that this inspires some people and uh, I, if you need some help or if you need anything if you can shoot me a message leave a comment down below. I'm gonna do what the youtubers do point to the screen. I, I don't know. I'm very new to this so um, comments, questions, anything like subscribe. Uh, you can follow my Instagram and my Twitter. I put that. I'll put that at the end of the video, as well. So um, feel free to message me at all. I, I don't. I, I want to be there for you guys. So hopefully next uh, next video I won't just be talking to the camera. Maybe I'll do something more exciting. Thanks again for all the support. Thanks again for watching. And um, go Buttes. Take care.